Good morning, fellow anglers. It is a new day with new possibilities for the teams to earn important points. Let's enter the third fishing day, which means the famous River Day. Time to rule out the scoreboard and oh boy what a season it's been so far. The first day after some impressive fishing, CWC fishing team managed to secure the number point with 114 pike. As anticipated, the second day was much slower and at the end, Team Vision had the highest number with 15 pike caught. The heaviest fish in the archipelago was caught by Team Vision with a weight of 7.58 kilos. Team Ilex Gunke only had one bite during the entire lake day, but since it weighed in at a massive 9.58 kilos, it was enough to give them the big fish point. During the archipelago day, both Team Jiga.nu and CWC fishing team had 441 centimeters on their five longest fish, which gave them one point each. Team Cash with Care were not able to keep up with Jigar.nu on the lake day, so Jacob and Björn got the top 5 point alone. Before we start the third day, this is the score. Team Vision has 2 points, Team Ilex Gunki 1 point, Team Jigar.nu 2 points and CWC Fishing Team 2 points. During this third and last day, all the teams need to change waters to any river of their choice. We all know that the biggest fish lurks in the deepest of eddies. Buckle up, let's roll out episode 7 of Fly vs Yerk 11. Come on down to the river, the lost and the sinners, the bells are ringing, the bells are ringing. Come on down to the river, we're just liars and killers, let me sing it. This season of Fly vs Yerk was recorded in September and during the night a high pressure system settled over Scandinavia, resulting in a temperature drop for all of the teams. They will all have a beautiful day ahead of them, but the weather will for sure make the fishing harder. First out on the water we have for the first time ever in Fly vs Yerk history, Catch with Care. They are fishing the same river where they caught the 127 cm fish from the previous year. Will they be able to do the same thing this year? Good morning everybody. Welcome to the last day of Fly with York 11. Yep. We decided uh, yesterday to, to stop a little bit early to get the time on the river so we can be on the spot early because we find out the two fly guys, they're going to fish the same area as us, but we just saw the boat there, so they're not on the water yet. So that's why we, the plan is to go on the base spot, put the boat anchor there, and when we think it's the right time to fish, now it's a little bit early, so you feel like it's a little bit too cold to start. So we will start around maybe, maybe one hour, two hours. This night has been really cold. It's minus three degrees now and you can see the smog uh, on the water here. So uh, I don't think the fish are gonna bite directly in the morning, but we have 10 hours and eight o'clock the first cast will go. I think the fly guys have no idea we start that early because usually we always the last team on the water. But today we try to plan a little bit better for the last day. So I don't think they have any idea we're going to be on the spot. And we know they have been practicing there with such a good result and uh, that's why we, we, we need to, to step up and, and be on the spot before them if they come on the same spot, but we'll see. Also very early on the move, the one and only fly team arrives to the boat launch. There they find CWC fishing team's trailer without a boat and are a bit surprised that Truman and Pierre already are out on the water. CBC is already here. Yeah, the, yeah, but maybe they put the boat in yesterday. But they, their car is here. Yeah, but... Yeah. Marcus. Yeah. Feel if the water, if the engine is warm. Put the hand hood on the hood. It's warm. Hard to tell. Okay, so they are earlier than us. Hi guys, and welcome back to day three. The sun is just coming up. It's river day, and uh, it's the day we are uh, here for, basically. We were a little bit surprised when we came here because CVC car was already here and the trailer was empty. So it might be that they are already fishing before us. Not good, not good. Cool morning, so like zero degrees. The fog is everywhere, looking cool. See if you can get some big one on. Okay, spot look here. Yeah, you can do. 
we're going to fix the road and everything. So I think we have, you have a good idea what bait I'm going to use on the river day. I think I will start with this mouse. She bring me so many big fish and on this river last year too. So, and yesterday as well, some contact on this one. So that's going to be my first choice and we'll see what happens. But I think they will like that one. We thought we would be first on the spot, but uh, in the fog here, we see CVC. Good morning. Good morning. Morning. When the f were you here? What the f are you here? Did you watch Fly vs Jack last year? Yeah. <laughs> they, they got it super early. <laughs> I think a little bit more up now. We what? can go a little bit more up. Yep. A little bit. <sighs> Stop. Take it easy. Jesus, he's so stressed now. My friend. Today we're gonna go all in against the fly guys. Yes. Yes. They are up there. We are on a really cool spot, quite deep uh, water. Here you have an eddy, backwater, lots of bait fish. Look at, look at the screen. You can see them coming in the middle of water here. The river has gone up and down. It was really low when we, we arrived a couple of days ago. Now it uh, has rised a little bit. So that means there could be new fishes here, new, new pikes. The best part of it is that now it's steady. I think the most thing will happen around 12 to 3. But we see, sometimes actually you can have quite good directly when the lights come up. So it's going to be so interesting this. There's so much bait Oof. fish in the area. Uh, Crazy. So we're here really early. It's actually minus outside. As you can see, the fog is coming up from the river. The river temperature is 11 degrees. Yesterday, all the fishing was good before the sun came up. Let's hope we can get some really big ones on rainbow patterns. Dragon tail. We're like 150 meters from CVC and we cannot barely see them. <laughs> Niklas, today is the so, day. Is today's the reason why we're here. Yep. Let's see if I can del deliver anything. I did some pre-fishing here around one month ago and we had super fishing here. We had 12 fish over one meter, biggest one over 13 kilo. That's the reason why we're here. This is a super place and we have a really good chance today to get the biggest one of the competition. So 7.07 finish time, first cast. <laughs> it's like this, uh, we have 10 hours. For me, I have, if I have decide we should wait maybe 30 minutes more so the light is a little bit more but the fly guy has already started fishing and, and uh, we can't wait we 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 fish too and uh, see what happened okay pi yeah let's take the first cast my friend first cast i do it it's eight minutes past seven and the fishing has begun the third team to hit the water is Team Leech with Alexander Lexen and Markus Malishevsky, and they are fishing a river in the northern parts of Sweden. The big fish duo will do something you never even thought was possible. Hold on to your butts so you don't fall off the chair when you hear their tactic. It's river day. We have struggled for two days. We don't have any points now. So we have totally changed our tactics because we are not going to be able to win with just one big fish. So we are going all in uh, this, this day. We go for numbers. Hopefully we can catch over 30 pikes and we will also go for five longest and also the biggest. Yeah. We go all in today, win or lose. That's our game plan. So follow us. Give me five. Boom. First cast of the day. Let's see if it's a pike there. Yep. It's a small one, but it. First pike of the day. 29 to go. Yeah. Not the, not the biggest, okay. But I, I just take lead a touch. Yeah, lead the touch. Lead the touch. Well, it's two pikes at the moment. Two. That's, 28 that's to go. 
We start with an area that we know there's a lot of smaller fish. And then we're going to work our way up. But first we are going to try to catch like six, seven pike an hour. More pike we get uh, under, a sh under a short time, we have more time to catch uh, bigger ones. So hopefully this is our day. Team Jigger.nu with Bjorn Boström and Jakob Hank the Tank is about to hit the water. This day they will be fishing a river far up in the northern parts of Sweden. On their way to the first spot, they encounter a problem and must turn around and drive back to the car. Every single minute right now that they are not fishing could be the difference between winning this competition or not. This is unbelievable. We forgot some stuff in the cabin. Looks like I'm starting the day alone. It's not the best, but hey, what can you do? So you will just have to do with me. Welcome back to episode seven. It's river day and I'm all alone. Life sucks, but that's what it is. So I'll have to fish for two. First cast. We're quite you know, happy with yesterday's result uh, during the circumstances and uh, we made a late comeback, that was really good. I want to have a better result, but hey, what can you do? You can only fish. We really need to get that big one. And uh, we hope that we can find some big ones in this river system. Big one and uh, five. This is what we're going for today. Numbers, no. Uh, that's not a way to end it for us. So five and one big one. So I started the first uh, half an hour with the imitation of a Mia's mouse, but then I just realized that this is probably the river in the world where they see most Mia's mouse. So I'm going to show them something very old school, but there's a big tube fly, unweighted. I'm just going to have a small bead here so it keeps the balance perfect. This is something they don't see that often. It's really cold at the moment. We haven't had any contact yet, but actually we saw that at CBC they had a, at least they had one bite, but uh, it's not going to take more than one hour and we will have a big one. It wasn't that big though. You saw it? Yeah, it's okay, like five kilo fish maybe. Yeah, yeah. That's cool. Love the jump in the fog there. Good start. You're biting. I decided to, to start with the mini mouse and with quite heavy lead, 14 gram. And we have 90. Fishing, yeah. Okay. 90 centimeters. 90. Yeah. Yeah, now this fish is, of course, is nothing for a big fish, but for the top five, yeah. everything over 90 is good. So, yeah. so it's Perfect, keep doing. Cool, good job. We just had our first fish for the day. They start biting now. The sun has come up. It's a little bit warmer, but still chilly. So uh, we keep on casting. So the first hour, no contact. But a beautiful cold morning. Let's hope the second hour becomes slightly warmer and slightly better. Pushing water and having that tail like. Yeah. Good, 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 good. Small one. Yeah. It's a really small one. A net or? Oh, it's actually not that small. It's 80. Oh, good job, man. Nice. Oh, okay. I thought it was like a one kilo yeah. fish or something. <laughs> good job. Great. It's maybe around 80. Yeah. Oh, seems like the mouse fly is working. So, fish is with a sink seven. Really depending how it goes, it might be important fish for our top five. I would say this is around 80, 85 centimeters. Let's check out how long it is. 80, 84. 84, okay. Yeah, yeah I don't need, we need to weigh this, but let's say four, four three and a half? point. No, that's over, that's over four kilos. Let's say four kilos. Four kilos is okay. Yeah. Good. There you see the fish swimming down from the release and then it's standing here. You can actually see how little that fish is there on the bottom. We actually saw fish in here on the surface. I came to fish this area. I cast all the way to the close to the shore and I, it's around six meters here. So I have sink seven and I have two beads in front of the mouse fly. 
So fishing around maybe three, four meters, and then just boom, really could take and really inhale the whole fly. Team Mouse Fishing with the brothers Andreas and Tony Andersson have been driving since 4.30 in the morning and are finally arriving to the river in the southern parts of Sweden. This is Team Mouse Fishing. Today it's a river day. We're going to fish uh, on the edges and try to catch the five longest pikes. Hopefully we catch a monster also to have a chance to win this. Next team to launch their boat is Team Raymarine with Pad and Victor. After a long drive from the lake, they have arrived to a river close to the coast in the middle of Sweden. Day 3, Fly vs Jörk. We are on the river and uh, today we're going as we planned for numbers. Because we have realized that we need a at least two points today to get a, get a small chance to win. And we're gonna go for numbers and sneak on every backwater and every deep hole in this river to try to catch a big one as well. Today we're gonna fish with the, the piglet because we need small pikes and many of them. So let's see. I think we need at least 30 pikes uh, to have a chance. But if we catch 40, 50, I think we have the point. Because we're fishing really shallow here and there's a lot of grass everywhere. Uh, we're fishing this piglet with an uh, offset hook and a small uh, stinger in the back to increase the hooking percent. So that's a really good rig when you fish shallow water with a lot of grass. So now we're going to catch some pikes here. Let's see. Fishing a river is quite different compared to a lake or the archipelago. If you are new to river fishing, this is a good tip to think when finding new spots. A great tip when you're fishing a river system as is that you want to fish where the water is calm. Imagine yourself, you don't want to be standing on a treadmill eating. You, you know, you want to be sitting down having a calm time. So the predator will not be, be, be swimming in the current. They will just be standing beside the current. So here we have a current coming from there and we have the current coming from there. So here creates like a pocket of, uh, of uh, calm water. Uh, and hopefully they will be standing here, seeing their food pass, go get it, eat it, and then go back and stay here. The grass, you know, here is, is really going from the bottom up around. Yeah! No! Yes, he is on. He's on. This could be first approved fish. Yes, it is. No. It's not as easy as it looks. Okay, I don't have any friend there, so high five. Yeah, good job. Yeah, good job. Yeah, 85. 85, first fish of the day. Let's continue hammering here until Jacob comes back. Now we're going to release this. As I was saying, the grass is really high. It goes from, start from three meters up to 50 centimeters down so it's about two meters high and they they come strike really hard from down under standing in the grass looking up seeing the bait and go boom 85 first fish first fish of the day yeah yeah i saw it coming from the grass you know go 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 bam <laughs> That was so fun! That was so fun! It's not that big, but still, it's, it's a fish. 84, yeah, 84. Second pike, 84 centimeters. Ooh, stop it, stop it. Okay, dance, dance. Okay, let's just release it. Who needs Jacob anyway? It could be my net master. <laughs> I'm just kidding, my dear old friend. Of course I need you. If we take a look at the leaderboard, we can see that Team Leech is currently holding the number point with four pike caught. The heaviest fish is caught by CWC fishing team, estimated to 4.5 kilos. This will not hold during a river day, but hey, a start is a start. While fishing 10 minutes alone, Bjorn from Team Jigarotnu has the longest combined length of 169 centimeters. Not a bad start, this day will for sure be exciting. 
After a very long drive last night, 8 hours to be exact, Team Ilex Gunke is waking up and getting ready to start their fishing day. Frederick have with some help from his friend found an almost unfished river stretch far up in the northern part of Sweden. The power plant is releasing much water and that's exactly what they want. Frederick Julian and Manuel Fyrestam is expecting a great day on the river. River day. River day. Our secret river. I must tell you something. I've been training a lot, traveling and failing, finding uh, places, but uh, one thing all the places we fish have in common is uh, I think all the friends, your friends, my friends, that help us to discover those new waters. Yeah. And uh, here we are far north. It's a kind of untouched piece of river. I hope we're gonna have a blast today because yeah, too. this river holds a lot of fish and big ones. So we're targeting numbers and the big five. Yep, with some luck. There are some big ones living there. Plenty of food, there are some fat ones. Good weather, not so much wind, good, good stream, stream yeah. and the sun to wake them up. I'm using the, the new wild dog, the same as the lake day. I rigged it with the, the new jungle. Then I put the John Waite in the front, seven grams. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Hey, first cast, river day. Yeah. Let's rock them. Okay, first cast. Ding, ding. Come oh, on. Oh, Fisher! No. Yes. No. Good, good sign. Yeah, but, oh, do you saw it? Good sign. <sighs> yes. Oh, took it. Big. <laughs> It I'm felt getting... big, but uh, didn't look so good. Maybe we can take out the net. I don't know the size of this, but... No, oh, no, no, I think it's cutie pie. Maybe it's a 75. I'm ready. Good job. Uh, oh, yeah, it was okay. It's okay size, I think. Please take it in. Yes. Thank you. I can, uh, if you want, I can organize with that and you can keep on casting. Oh, it almost went out of <laughs> oh, It's solid. We need to weigh this one. Yeah, we can do that. I think it was like the third cast or Yeah, something. third cast. On the Dexy Jerk. <laughs> solid fish. Super cool. Nice colors. How long do you think it is, Frederick? Ah. Is it 80? Oh, more. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> Crazy more fish. Zero. It's in 90. How much? 92. Yes, man. <laughs> That's a start. Good start in the big five. So here we are the upper part of the river that we cannot go further. There's a, a dam up here. So that's the beginning of the stream, a few hundred meters away. And uh, that's the first backwater, the first pocket in the river. And I believe uh, it concentrates the fish and bait fish also, because we saw that uh, when the stream is dying and uh, the power plant is closing the, the stream, all the fish, all the bait fish are coming up here. So that will be the first hiding place they will have. So we count on that to find the, the pike. We're changing bait on this uh, spot just to try to catch every pike on this area. And then we move on to next. I think we can manage to catch around 10 pike here. So we change from big to small to jerk. Leader, leader, leader. So this is pike number six, too small for measure, but it's number six like we said. And we said we wanted to have six pikes an hour, and this is the sixth one in one hour. So it's uh, report time, it's nine o'clock, six pikes. Good job. We took only four pikes the first hour, missed a lot of fish. Uh, it's really hard on, on the small gear and small fish. So we're gonna go to another spot, try to catch more numbers, because our plan is to go for numbers, and then when we feel comfortable with the numbers, we're gonna go big fish. After Bjorn has fished for some time alone, Jacob finally arrives to the water with the forgotten stuff. Welcome back. Thank you. Let's go hey catch guys. some bites. What did you catch? Two? Two. Size? 
84, 85. Nice. Well done. Yeah. You don't need me. <laughs> yeah, I, I kept telling that. I'm, you did. <laughs> yes, yeah. I did. Yeah, you asshole. <laughs> Go figure. First cast of the day. I actually had more conversation with myself than you and me have right now. <laughs> Why am I not surprised? <laughs> Team Mouse is fishing a big area with weed beds that's around 3 meters deep. On this spot they have caught several big fish before and on faith it holds the fish they need. Yeah, that is pike. A uh, little touch. Yep. yep. First pike of the day. That's good. First click of the day. Yo! Yes! Yes! Now we're talking. <laughs> it's a nice fish. Wow. What a start for Team Mouse Fishing. Great revenge from the previous day. They scale the pike to 7.08 kilos and measure it to 109 centimeters. This is a great fish for the top 5 point. Well done. I catch the pike with a black mouse. It's a sunny day and clear water. The last team to hit the water is Team Silver Suzuki with Bara Mord and Lasse Litzel. Although they have a great excuse. Hi everyone, welcome to Various York 11. And we're driving from Lake <laughs> night. It's happened a bad accident. We hit a moose. Close to the town of Örebro, a big moose just came running over the highway and we were extremely lucky. So it's very important to, after a full day of fishing, you're tired and it's very, very important to keep the speed limit. Probably that one saved our life, so think about that. A little bit shaky, not so much shower sleeping tonight, but uh, we go for the fish. Yeah, we take big ones today. Luckily, everyone is fine except for the moose, but that's a reminder to you all that safety always have to come first. Never ever drive faster than the limit, especially with a big boat on the trailer. First cast, episode seven. Now we take them, Lasse. Game on, Barra. The fishing for Team Vision and CWC fishing team up in the Finnish river has been very slow and both teams has started to move around to find active fish. Well, we were supposed to go a little bit different spot here, but they uh, saw us moving, so they sneaked up on that. So now we're gonna go up and go inside of them instead. We've been uh, fishing down here now, and uh, CVC has been lying in the hole here, and we were supposed to go on top of them, but they actually drove in front of us. So now we went inside this, and we're gonna fish this edge here. It's a small island here. And this edge here is usually good. You can see this pack of bait fish here. So. Hey Truman, this almost feels like Fly vs. Yoke 3 when we're in the same boat. <laughs> fish! Fish! Oh, f It's a small one. Well, it still is a fish. Yeah. It was good because it casted right behind our boat and he had a fish and it was good it was a small one because that was exactly what I was supposed to cast and there was a meter's mouse dimping right back behind us here. So. Goopy! Goopy? Goopy, yep. Ah. So we're the only one who's using mirrors most time. <laughs> Just stole that fish under the boat of the fly guys on jack bait. That's a really small one, but just to know, I'm measuring, but he's like, he's like 73. So one day it will be 12 kilo, yeah, definitely. Put it back. I'm going to insist a little bit more with the Goopy. Because I, I have already one contact, so the only contact I have was on the Goopy so far. So I will keep this one and Stefan will stay with the, the Mini Mouse. But for so far nothing really happened, so we need to keep two different bait and, and see what, what works. River day is probably the most difficult day. We are on a very good water. I know it's a lot of fish over 10 kilo here. I think it's our day today, but we will see. It's a little bit cold. Come on, Pikey. Yeah.
Fish on. Good First master. fish of the day. Fish off. But I had the leader. One clicker. Weehoo! Small one, but it's still a fish. Good start, Lasse. They're here. First one of the day. Weehoo! First pike for the day. Not so big, but it's a clicker. And uh, we have find them now. Fish on. Oh, it's a small clicker. Take the leader. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Maybe we should change tactic, Barra. If they're in this size, we have to go for the numbers. Okay, now we have caught five small pike uh, in this area. It's, it's lead style, we go small, but now we are going up and hopefully we can uh, get some bigger ones. It's an area where a lot of whitefish uh, gather around uh, when the temperature drops. Hopefully there are some bigger ones there because this, what we have fished now is food. All right, we switch spots. So now we go for the bigger pikes and we think we can have uh, at least one or two uh, meter parks here in this area, or even more. Let's try to take the bigger one now and then fall back for numbers again. Yes. Uh, we caught one uh, that we can measure. It's a 90 fish. Nice. It's so the first fish on this new spot. We know there is a lot more of these. Hopefully we can uh, catch some more and a little bit longer. We don't need a weight now. No, it's a like, we say four and a half kilo, maybe more, but we say four and a half because. So this is nice. Now we, we're going to take three points today. Okay, I will do that. Oh, fish on. Yes. Yeah, it's, oh, no, no. Yeah. No, no, it's a, it's a shorter pike, yeah. but... Give me a little little... Oh, yeah, little touch. touch. Two fish. Oh, nice strike! Fuck! Oof! <laughs> oh! I love this jerk bit. Really aggressive take, but it's not so big, I think. Maybe. Ah, uh, look, it's short. It just strikes really hard. No, no. Uh, it's a nice, it's one. A nice one. Please. Please. Oh. <laughs> we are in business. Yeah. We're going for the big five. This one we don't need to measure. I don't need to take right, the weight we need on this. To <laughs> yeah, yeah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, do you... Yep. We have... How long is it? 92. Again? Yeah. Is it 92. the brother? I don't know. Okay, we found a, a sister or something. Yeah. Same, <laughs> same size, same year maybe. They were born. 292 fish, one spot. We hope we keep on hammering these 90 fishes. Looks like CVC is uh, changing a place. There's two mole holes upstream, so if they take the other one, should we take the other one? I think it's a good choice. Let's hope that they go downstream. So upstream this here, we have two um, deep holes. Holds a lot of big fish, there's actually a lot of big holes, but two, two that are very close to us. CVC just went to the one where they had the, the uh, 13 kilo fish. So we're not gonna let them fish both of those holes first, so we're gonna go to the second one, see what happens. So we're coming up to the hole here. We uh, auto charted this live here a few days ago. Actually, we have done it previous. You see there's a deep hole here, and then we had bait fish on those points. And we actually have a stream of, of water coming down here. So I think we're gonna put the boat on this side here, on the steep edge. I think from this hole, TVC get last year quite on many fish. But not the big ones, but from the steep. Yeah, big one, big one. Big, 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 big. Good. I'm coming with the net. No, lost it. Lost it? Yeah. That was a meter fish. Damn close it. to. Ah. What happened? I just, it just came close to the boat and I couldn't do anything. But it wasn't a super big. I'd rather lose those than the really big ones. So it's, uh, I'm fishing a black one with the XXL dragon tail. 
So this is a fly pattern that I tied to imitate a Mio's mouse. It's basically a bulkhead with a special foam in front here that's coated with a Gulf Flexman to keep it uh, not too uh, light and also much durable. Not a good thing to drop. Lose the first one though. As always, when we need to get a big one, it's time for the single hook, barbless, redhead, white fly. Super fly for a big fish. So far I have a 12 kilo and 9 kilo fish with this fly on fly first jerk. So let's see what it brings today. I think this is also for a small net. Yeah, I can have it. Oh, this is 75. Easy. Hey, Alex! Alex! Nej! Oh, nej! Oh! Den var stor, Alex. Den kom efter igen också. Den är här nere, ser du? Oh, that was a meter pike. Meter pike. Yeah, I just had a strike on a meter plus fish. That was really good. It was just sitting in the lip, so I lost it. Uh, well, let's hope this is our day today. It's like 81. We caught 10 fish this hour. Uh, we have four minutes left, so hopefully we can catch one other. So we have 16 pike now, uh, 190 and 181. Uh, so we release her. Two meter fish lost for two different teams within minutes. Too bad, but the day has just started. It's now 10 o'clock and the teams must write down their score in their papers. The time is uh, 10, top fish 90 and 81. So we have 16 in total. I think it's a good start. If we continue to do this, we are on plan to get three points. So stay tuned. 89 centimeter? No, 84. 84, okay. <laughs> I thought it was not 89, but at CVC, they have two fish at least. You can write that down too. <laughs> <laughs> we have uh, a lot of pikes now. It's good for the numbers, but our tactic was taking big five, but now we have like 10 small. We have kind of slow fishing just now. We start quite pretty good. We have 190 and, and uh, a small fish. We, I think we do everything right. We fish slow, we fish deep, we use Mura's mouse. Pierre go for the big one, and I have the new mini mouse. It's pretty cold also, but we need to step up. We need to take a couple of big ones. Do you remember one time we have quite good results when the water was a little bit cold like this? It was similar condition. Maybe I, I switch with the big goopy. Yeah. Fish tries slow near the bottom, yeah. and, uh, and we see what happened. I, I tried that for a while. Okay? I, think, I think that's a good idea. Then we, we fish different. Yeah. Because and now we have two straight bait, yeah. so a jack bait can make the. Sometimes when they are not active, the side to side, to side maybe. We yeah. try, okay? Perfect. Team Ray Marine are doing running and gunning. That's a style of fishing where you go fast from spot to spot to find fish that are active. So far, they haven't had any success. The fish they catch are small and few. Not good enough if you want to be on the podium with a trophy in your hand. Really need to find the, the schools of pike to increase the number fast. So it was nice to get a, get a contact directly on the new spot. Here is, it's quite cold here. We are really far south from, the, from many of the other teams. It couldn't be enough with 20 pikes today because it's, yeah, when, when the temperature drops, the pikes get inactive. So I think they, nobody gets many pikes today. Last time I was here, I took a fish that was just under one meter here. Ooh. Oh, that was better. That was, a, that was a meter fish. That was a meter fish. I remember if there was grass there as well. Look at this, this is grass out here. Ah, uh, there, I see, the, I see the weeds there. Yeah. Yeah, you see it? Yeah. Yeah. Ah, uh, it could be better, but I don't know. It feels better. Oh, this is, this is a big one. Oh. This side, this side, this side, this side, this yeah. side, this side. Oh. God damn, they're strong. Oh. 
Oh. Let me know, let me know. Here. <laughs> Booyah! <laughs> <laughs> New nickname, Net Dancer. <laughs> yeah, god damn it. That was a good net. He swam straight into it. Last time I was here, I was like, I remember there was grass somewhere, but I didn't mark it out. I just marked the pike I caught by 96. And then I thought it was there and said, ah, oh, I see the grass. Boom! They're standing in the grass at the sides. Ladies and gentlemen, we might have a new top fish for the river day. Time to measure the fish. They zero the scale and if it weighs more than Team Mouse fishing spike of 7.08 kilos, they will steal the big fish point. 7.82. 7.82. Seven, eight, two. Yeah. Here you go. go. Take, take yeah. that one. Got it. 109. 109. Yes. 109. 109. <laughs> well That's done. Good. And there's Let babies. It Let it go. 60 meters from here. Well, she has to be eating something, right? Yeah. Let her go. New top fish for the big fish point and also a great pike for the top five score. Well done. Team Gigaras New did their homework this year and it paid off. With that fish, they increased their top 5 score to 434 centimeters with about 6 more hours to fish. They will for sure be dangerous. It's soon 11 o'clock and episode 7 is coming to an end. This feels so good, you know. We came here to get the big ones and we have number one now. We caught so many small ones, I said, where are they? I, I know they're here. And now we find one of them. It's amazing. Uh, the feeling is, you know, the thrill. Oh, I love this. I, I so love this. There she goes. And again, river pike, so strong. It took this, yeah, again, whitefish kind of. Ah, this, this lure is so good. Ah, it's so good. I'm gonna take more with this, I promise you. This is only number one. Come here. Four more of those. You, you deserve this one. Well done. Well done. I'm ready for you, Frick. Lead it. Yep, lead it touch. That could be... No. The last pike for episode 7. Now we have 8 pikes and uh, the two biggest are 92. Still 92, 92. So we need to keep on uh, catching for the big 5, Fred. Yes, but they are coming. Great start. We, we are on target with everything. We just need some bigger fish now. We go for 3 points. So. Marcus. So the first part of the river day is now over. It has been a bit tough fishing for us. So far we have only two fish. But we still have a lot of spots to cover. Yep. And uh, we might go back to the place we started. We just need to catch a few more. Let's go for it. Yeah, the Jervy. The Jervy. Here is totally dead with her. Yes. We need to find active fish. Yeah, it's 11 o'clock. We are struggling with the numbers. We have only caught one fish this hour, so. We need to increase the number, uh, we need to find the fish, active fish. We are trying around different baits and now I'm fishing a really small uh, uh, jig. <laughs> and I had a strike on it actually. Let's see what's happened next hour. Okay, Jacob, yeah. last cast of episode seven. Where should we get that going there? Okay. I'll put it right there. Yeah. Better? I don't know, man. Just be ready. No chance to stay. <clears throat> That's a little bit better. So That's 80 fish for sure. Be. That's maybe 90, maybe. No, this is not a 90 fish. Okay. <laughs> for these first hours, we have a really good result that we're really satisfied with. We're hoping to get in a, a little bit bigger <coughs> pikes uh, to, to fill up the paper with, but Right now, we're, we're really happy and uh, I think we're in the top three right now. Last cast of episode seven contain a pike. How big it is, you will see in episode eight. Over and out. You guys hammer. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to roll out the scoreboard and see the result. The number point is held by Alex and Marcus in Team Leech. They have caught 23 pike in three hours of fishing which is more than the other two days combined. Well played. 
The heaviest fish so far is 7.82 kilos caught by Team Gigarotnu, followed by Team Mouse fishing with 7.08 kilos. Great start for both of those teams, but we know there are much bigger fish swimming in those rivers. The top 5 point is held by Team Gigarotnu with 434cm on their 5 longest fish. All the other teams are way behind and must step up their catching rate of bigger fish if they want to have a chance. At the moment, Team Vision has 2 points, Team Alex Gunky 1 point, Team Gigarotnu 4 points, Team Leech 1 point, and CWC Fishing Team 2 points. Whatever you do, don't miss the next episode of Fly vs Jerk 11 that will be released in one week. Also, make sure to like this video and subscribe for more fishing videos. We really appreciate your support. On the 20th of March, we will have a pre screening of the final episode at Sportfiskemessan in Stockholm. Watch the episode before everyone else together with the contestants. And remember that they don't either know the final result, so it's going to be super exciting. This event is always one of the highlights of the year. When you are at Sportfiskemessan, make sure to bring your old or broken soft plastic lures to our recycle bin at the Canal Gratis stand. We will recycle them into new lures and give you some cash for your trash. Thank you guys so much for watching. Ciao!